Greetings and welcome to the Sports Card Ripping Teacher. So last night, the Dolphins do beat the Rams on the road. Are the Dolphins back? We'll have to see if they can make a push to the playoffs here. And yesterday we had a great day remembering uh, Veterans Day. It was really cool because one of our teachers, her nephew, um, is in the military. And he'll be home this year for the holidays, which did not happen last year. And um, he was actually Zoomed in or Google Meet him. I don't know what it was, but into our little celebration that we had uh, yesterday. So we'd made some cards uh, for him and to possibly pass out to uh, some of his friends who are also in the military. So maybe look to see if there's opportunities that uh, you can do something simple like that just to give thanks. Also, I watched uh, Pat the Passionate Pack Rat. Uh, he had a really nice video yesterday. Um, with their Remembrance Day. And he had a really good idea. And I did it with Pat Tillman, a couple other people before, just talking about their military career. I did some shorts actually with uh, Topps Chrome Platinum. And if a player that was highlighting did serve in the military, I did acknowledge that. But maybe doing a series or just, you know, so I do a player of the day, talk about one of those players, uh, baseball, football, that did, or any sport um, that did serve in our military, and also play sports professionally. So, Pat, thank you for the good idea. Um, I think that's a really cool idea, and thank you for sharing your video yesterday. All right, today is Tuesday, November 12th, Lesson 62. Take goes out to Marco Rivera. He was an outstanding, I think it was a sixth-round draft pick for the Green Bay Packers, but he was a guard and a phenomenal guard, a three-time pro bowler, and he was also part of the Green Bay Packer Hall of Fame. And if you were to ask him, I would guess probably the only down, downfall of his career, and I should check this really quick. Um, yep, I did have it up here. He finished his career with the Dallas Cowboys, kind of like how Ron Santo finished with the Chicago White Sox, probably something he regretted. I don't know. You would have to ask him. In 1920, uh, Kennesaw Mountain Landis, I just like saying that name, Kennesaw Mountain Landis, became the first commissioner of baseball. And in 1876, Archibald Graham, that's right, Moonlight Graham, who we talked about, uh, I think it was on Friday, with Otto Graham. It was his birthday in 1876, November 12th, 1876, and Salmon Slammy Sosa. It is also his birthday. And say what you want to say about Sammy Sosa. When he was going through his home run tear, you know, going off against Mark McGuire, like I was cheering like crazy. I had to go and watch that. So always thankful for uh, the excitement that Sammy Sosa gave us. Some playoff teams and also some teams that were really, really bad. And it is good to see Sammy Sosa in some of the current Topps products. It's now time to get into a hanger box of Topps Composite. All right, we're back, and it is amateur hour. I started to rip open the hanger box there uh, without pressing record. Amateur hour, folks. Um, so I did get so many of these just because during um, September when I was working Cubs games, when I would have cash tips, you know, we are strictly credit cards now, unfortunately, but when I did get some cash tips, sometimes I would stop at Target after work and just pick up something card-wise and the Target by Wrigley Field, probably about uh, three blocks or three miles down Addison, had a huge stock, a couple restocks of these composite blasters. And, you know, for 15 bucks cash, it was kind of an easy um, purchase. And they always had them. The mega boxes, they were gone quickly. The blasters were gone quickly. But, um, yeah, so I just kind of stocked up on these. And the thing with them is they have two card sections at their Target. And the main stuff was in the toy aisle, but these hanger boxes, for whatever reason, I don't know, maybe because they had the uh, little hanger thing to actually hang them up, was always by the register. And I feel like once they had the other card section, the one by the register was not being uh, checked out. So yeah, I probably, you know, after five or six games towards the end of the season, I would stop and they would always have them. So why not? All right, here we go. Sean Alexander, Michael Vick. Oh, we got a Brett Favre on the black gold right there. Woo, can't go wrong with the Brett Favre. We got to get a stand up there for our Brett Favre. Yes, we do. Got Anthony Richardson. Howie Long. I don't think I have that Howie Long yet. Keenan McCardell. And we got a Midnight Emmett Smith. 
Obviously, these are numbered because of the purple on there. They're not. That's just the base, but it is a beautiful card. That's for sure. Adrian Peterson. Ball security. Hold on to it. Rob Gronkowski. Gon Gronk on the prism. Randy Moss on the refractor. Yes, it is right there. Steve Young. Sharp looking card right there. Ricky Williams. Dolphins had a good victory yesterday. It kind of be a little more high, higher scoring. The Rams were kind of at uh, full strength. So were the Dolphins. Samurai Mike. Mike Singletary told you about um, Bill George yesterday. This is one of those uh, strong linebackers for the Chicago Bears. Troy Aikman. Man, three good nerds pack right here. We got Charles Woodson, thankful to uh, BC yesterday, sent me that Charles Woodson in the Packer jersey, which I did not have. Tom Brady, I guess everyone likes a Tom Brady. Jay Novich, again, what do you think of Tom Brady as the announcer? Um, I was, I forget what game, I was pretty much like doing school work, and I was more or less just like listening to the game, and I didn't realize it was Tom Brady. I was like, man, this is a pretty good broadcast today. I don't know if it's because the game was really good, but he's probably grown a lot into the role. I mean... When you're on national television broadcasting to millions of people, you're probably going to be nervous. You know, that's how I was my first couple of videos. Jay Novacek, Jerry Rice, Chad Johnson, and Jim McMahon claims league title at age 26. Out of BYU. They're having a good year this year, BYU. All right, that's it. Class is dismissed.